Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about how HFTs make money, what is the how the system design of HFT look like, how trading strategy interacts with other applications running in an HFT company and apart from that how trading strategies make decisions whether they should buy or sell a particular stock and how eventually everyone makes profits. So they are in any trading setup there is they are usually a few core components and they are usually same for most of the firms i mean there would be a stock exchange server denoted by this box on the right hand side where everyone is trading and like uh, let's say this is an indian stock exchange so this would be the server which is run by nse national stock exchange or maybe it's a us stock exchange nasdaq and basically this would be the server where everyone is trading okay this would be the nasdaq server then on this left hand side box basically denotes the you can say a host of a particular trading firm maybe citadel hrt graviton anyone so now what are the processes which run on this particular host and how basically they interact with each other so the usually i mean any trading setup comprises of three core components one is the market data application other this other is the trading strategy and the third one is the order entry application so i mean each of these applications have different responsibilities and each of these application is a ultra low latency or a low latency application so that you know they are able to make more profits and enter the order as soon as possible in the market and i mean uh, now these applications might be running on different boxes as well depending on how the setup of a particular trading firm looks like but again i am just i will just describe a simple architecture here and you and these uh, basically these three applications can also run on the same host as i have denoted here and they can run on different host as well now uh, what happens usually is that let's say any event occurred on stock exchange maybe someone bought a particular stock maybe someone sold some stock or maybe uh, let's say some order someone's order was filled or you know like some hot news came into the market i mean some something happened in the market and now people are suddenly reacting to it suddenly buying and selling stocks okay so for all of these events which happen on the stock exchange like buying selling orders getting filled orders getting cancelled orders getting mod modified so stock exchange publishes an event to every market participant okay so that event is called a market data event so for every event which has happened on the exchange the stock exchange will publish a market data packet now this market data packet will pub will be published to every uh, market participant so let me denote this arrow that it has this arrow is denoted that the exchange has basically published a market data packet now this box denotes the market data packet okay now exchange will publish this market data packet to every participant of the market so let's say this left hand side box was actually let's say trading host of citadel now maybe hrt is also trading on that particular uh, on that particular exchange so their host will also be present let's denote this box on the this upper box as the hrt trading host let's say some other firm maybe graviton also is also trading here so let's note this below box as the graviton trading box so exchange will actually publish the this market data event to all the market participants so usually the underlying transport layer protocol used to publish the market data event is udp and there are a couple of reasons for that i'm not going to deep dive into them but uh, i'm going to discuss a few major reasons i mean one of the major reasons is that exchange wants to make sure that the market data is received by every market participant at the same time so that i mean the market is fair to everyone because let's say if some particular company is receiving market data sooner than others so they are bound to make more profit right they are inclined to make more profit so exchange wants to be fair to everyone so that's why they use udp protocol to ensure the fairness other is that other reason is that there are a lot of nitty-gritties with the transport layer protocol tcp which is which are like tcp is basically a reliable protocol provides you error re recovery error control flow control mechanisms it consists of retransmission of packets when packets get dropped so, and all of these things actually uh, they are basically not lightweight as compared to udp i mean udp does not provide all these guarantees and it therefore it is a lightweight protocol it is able to use the bandwidth more efficiently so that is the major reason why market data is published on udp multicast now when this market data is published so basically the market data application will receive this market data and now these market data applications are written by engineers like me like the core engineers so this market data application will receive the market data it will actually do some processing on it maybe the uh, 
maybe the trading firm maintains an order book on their end so on their end so this market data application will update the order, the state of the order book now this this data will be published to trading strategy or maybe trading strategy itself is listening to this market data application so when trading strategy will receive this event from this the updated view of the order book from the market data application it will now try to make decision whether it should based on this event whether it should buy a particular stock or it should sell a particular stock or maybe it should not take any action so these trading strategies are usually designed by quant traders and these are softwares only so i mean the maths behind them is the basically the strategists and traders come up with the maths behind them like uh, you know how to identify whether a market data or whether a signal in or maybe the event which happened on in this stock exchange whether it signals to buy or sell a particular stock but the code i mean this trading strategy is a software so someone must have coded it right so those code are usually uh, written by quantitative developers or again engineers like me so this trading strategy will eventually uh, figure out whether it's a buy or a sell signal and eventually if let's say and eventually make the decision to whether to you know send the order or not so let's say now trading strategy has decided that it should buy a particular stock based on this market data based on the event which has recently happened on the exchange so this trading strategy will enter the order will it, it will basically tell this order entry application to that hey i want to buy a particular stock right now this order entry application now again it is written by coders or engineers like me this has to what are the responsibilities of it when it receives the order from the trading strategy now every exchange has their own protocol based on which they allow you to enter the orders or you know there is also a protocol for market data as well now this order entry application has to basically you know adhere to that protocol and like set things like this is the stock symbol i mean it has to basically set things in the order structure which is it is going to publish or send to the exchange and those are like that order structure will contain information about this is the symbol or this is the particular stock i want to buy this is the price at which i want to buy this is the quantity which i want to buy right and other things as well so those all these things are implemented in this order entry application and even eventually this order entry application will send the order to the exchange now what would happen that as you can imagine like let's say on this particular exchange this let's say the middle box is for citadel the upper box is for hrt the below box is for graviton so all of them received this market data all of them updated their market data application updated the view of view of the order book then it published this info to trading strategy let's say i mean all of them identified that they have to now buy this particular stock so all of them informed their order entry application to send the order and order entry application of these respective uh, firms entered the order in the exchange now you can imagine like let's say who will make the profit here so the one who would make the profit here is whose order reaches as first on the exchange okay so that's why speed is very critical i mean whoever whoever's orders reaches the exchange first is bound to make more profit or is bound to make all profit usually in hfts it's like a winner takes all game sometimes and that's why only one market participant is usually able to make the profit and that participant is whose order entered the exchange first okay i mean so that's why i mean latency is very critical and that's where again engineers like me come in they write these market data trading strategies order entry applications very ultra low latency they want to make sure that they whenever trading strategy takes a decision the order enters into the market as soon as possible and not just coding things come into picture i mean computer architecture computer network things also come into picture because let's say this order this particular trading host it was connected with a wire with us with the stock exchange server okay now you can imagine like the order or the speed at which the data inside the bits or the bytes inside the wire are going to travel to the exchange is limit is actually limited by the speed of light i mean if you google it the speed of light is basically 2997924584 meter per second let's assume that this is 300 million meters per second so to travel 1 meter distance it has to take 3.33 nanoseconds right so and 3 nanoseconds are enough to put you out of business i mean if someone else's order reaches 3 nanoseconds before you maybe they made all the profit so that's why you have to also make sure that all your this particular box or host where your trading applications are running is sitting as close to stock exchange as possible i mean if you are sitting very far to them then again even if you entered the order i mean you made the decision to buy first your order will take some time to reach to the exchange because it is again going to travel at the speed of light and if you are sitting far away from other market participants then your order will reach late into the market so that's why 
distance is also very critical and you have to make sure that you use your network bandwidth as efficiently as possible because if your topology is not right you will end up losing money so that is the reason like why computer architecture computer networks knowledge of computer architecture computer networks low latency software development c++ is very critical in trading domains and that's why everyone all the firms like to hire people who are good in that so i think that is mostly all i had for this particular video and as i said you that all the stock exchange provides protocols on which their market data and order entry application is written so i have a sample protocol open for nse like this is the spec all of these firms provide specification around this i mean this is where you can download it trading protocols nse website and i have already downloaded the uh, market data protocol so usually programmers like me implement these and you can also implement these if you are in college as a college project so this is how they have shown on page 11 that how the data would come when let's say an event has occurred on market so let's say someone entered a new order so this information will commit to you that whether this was a new order or a order was modified or order was cancelled the time at which the order was entered the order id then it would tell you that whether this was a buy order or sell order the price of the order the quantity of the order similarly if let's say someone's order got filled a trade message would come to you it will identify that which are the two orders which basically got executed the buy order id sell order id the price at which the order was executed the quantity which was executed so again all these informations which come to a particular market data application it parses it it updates it updates the order book and informs strategy about it strategy takes a decision to whether to buy or sell and order and application eventually enters the order in the exchange so that is all i had for this particular video thank you guys for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all next time